you've been following Tommy and you've been uh, attending a lot of rallies and everything. Well, what's been the personal cost to you? It's a huge financial cost. Um, it's very expensive to get the rallies. Um, I travel to England from outside of England, so it's costly for me to get here. I mean, I'm here for the day to day. It's probably going to cost me about three hundred quid um, in terms of travel expenses and food and trains and that sort of thing. Um, so the financial cost is big. There's a cost in terms of every other area of your life. When, when you get involved in this, you've got to be fully engaged. Have you made your plans for Salford this Saturday for Pano Drama? How long is your travelling, Abby? Uh, 25 hours here. There's going to be 25 hours back, and I'm I, so it's, it, it works out 60 hours actually, 30, almost 30 each way, and I'm here for about 50 hours. Just so you've got to make the effort. Okay. He's done that. You've got to make the effort. Anyone that doesn't come to Manchester on no, it's Salford. It's Salford. It's where? It's, where it's his own city. Wherever it is, if you don't come there, shame on you. You, we, the people that have voted out, have got a decision decision to make to give up our ultimate precious thing that we have during Christmas time are we prepared to give up purchasing Christmas presents for this one time spending hundreds of pounds of on presents on booze are we prepared to give that up just for once for this time and put that money towards traveling to London on the 9th of December. Are we prepared to give that up and get our priorities right? Because all too often people say, I can't afford it. But on the other hand, they get into debt and spend hundreds of pounds on presents. People, our kids' future is at stake here. Let's miss out the Christmas presents for this once. This is our only chance to show the British establishment that we are not going to take this lying down. Let's put the frightness onto them. The, the same way they are putting the frightness onto us. Let's reverse this. Let's the shake the very foundation that Parliament stands on, on the 9th of December.